Hello, welcome to your latest update from the Met Office. Big contrasts across the country on Tuesday, and we're going to see similar contrasts during Wednesday. A very wet day for some, especially parts of northwest England and Wales, whereas it will be pretty mild once more with uh, some sunshine across East Anglia and South East England. Across parts of Scotland, the rain will be easing overnight, but we do still have an amber warning in place across Scotland until first thing on Wednesday morning. A continued risk of flooding here as the rain has been particularly persistent and heavy and uh, will continue well into the evening across southern Scotland, easing perhaps a little bit north of the central belt, although there'll be more heavy showers coming in across northern Scotland. There are warnings in place across Scotland, but also northwest England and North Wales. That rain does continue here. The wind's easing a touch, but it's still a blustery night. Gusty conditions, especially around western coasts, but the direction of the wind keeping things very mild indeed. Temperatures staying up in double digits in most towns and cities to start Wednesday. So a mild start, but um, still very wet conditions over northwest England, uh, north Wales especially. The rain likely to persist here for much of the day. A drier day through central Scotland. May even see some sunny spells developing here. Some of that rain, though, still at times affecting the far south of Scotland. Northern Ireland also looking a lot drier and a lot brighter through Wednesday. And across much of the Midlands and eastern England, it is also a fine and bright day once more. At times, that rain will extend from West Wales into more eastern parts of Wales and possibly come the afternoon into southwest England as well. But the wettest conditions, northwest England, north and west Wales. Temperature-wise, well, it's going to start mild, and by the afternoon, temperatures really jumping up. 15, 16, a 17 is possible over eastern England, and temperatures even where it's uh, chucking it down for much of the day, up to 12, 13 degrees. Obviously, it's going to feel cooler than that with the heavy rain and the gusty winds. That wet weather will work its way a little further east through Wednesday night, taking its time and at the same time fizzling out. So by the time it moves over the Midlands, just a bit damp and drizzly really, by the time it reaches East Anglia and the southeast, first thing on Thursday morning, not much rain left at all. Again, a very mild night across uh, parts of the south and east. It will be a little fresher further north, but um, temperatures still staying mostly well above freezing, except perhaps in some rural areas. During Thursday, then that clouds and patchy rain will continue to trickle away across East Anglia in the southeast. So a much gloomier day here, but the rain not really amounting to too much. A much brighter day on Thursday for Wales and northwest England especially, bar a few showers in northern Scotland, much of Scotland and Northern Ireland, also dry and bright with the sunny spells. The wind will have switched direction, so temperatures back closer to average, but still pretty mild for most, 8 to 12 degrees Celsius. And uh, the fine weather could well last for most of us into the weekend. Look at this. High pressure is moving in. There are weather fronts just flirting with northern Scotland, bringing some rain here at times through Friday and Saturday. But for most, high pressure moving in. The winds will be a lot lighter. And generally, it looks a lot drier and a lot brighter as we head into the weekend as well. And uh, where we see some sunshine, it'll certainly feel mild by day. It is still February, though, so those nights and the clear skies will see temperatures dropping down close to freezing. For more on the outlook and, of course, the very latest on those weather warnings, make sure you're following the Met Office on social media.